Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you all about bronzers. This video has been requested before and I don't know why it's taken me so long to do it so I apologize about that. And secondly, I don't know if you guys can tell by the quality but I got a new camera and don't worry guys I will talk about that in a separate video probably in like a week or so because my birthday's coming up. It's like almost a week away, it's on the 20th, and I'm super excited, so I'll probably do a birthday haul if you guys want to see that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So I was pulling all of my bronzers out of my drawer and noticed how many I had. I didn't realize I had this many. I have quite a few, um, a couple from the drugstore, a couple high-end, so yeah, I'm really excited to talk to you guys about some of my favorites, some that I maybe wouldn't recommend. The first one being the e.l.f. contouring and blush highlighter thing. This is in St. Lu St. Lucia, I think. St. Lucia, I'm not sure. Anyways, but it comes with the super dark bronzer and this like peachy pink blush. I know e.l.f. is really known for um, their blushes and stuff, but I'm not actually a huge fan of them. Um, I feel like they're really powdery, and whenever I put them on my cheeks, they really don't stay very long. It might just have to do with my skin tone, though, so it's just to, you know, each its own. Whoever likes them, you know, it obviously works for them. But this bronzer in here is really, really dark. It has tons of shimmer in it. Um, it's got, yeah, it's just, it's got a ton of, like, gold glitter in it. It's, I just, ugh. I really don't like it. I got it to kind of compare to uh, the NARS Laguna in Orgasm Blush, um, but I really just don't like it. I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. It's super pigmented. I will give it that. It's crazy pigmented, but it's like such a muddy brown color with my fair skin and just it does not look cute on me. Now don't get me wrong, this bronzer is super affordable. I think it's like $3, maybe 6 at the drugstore. I got mine at Walmart. Um, so if you're looking for just, you know, a cheap bronzer to kind of begin with or start with, maybe try and contour with, this might work for you. I would not advise it for fair skin tones because I myself am very fair and um, it just, it looks, it looks bad on me specifically. I mean, but then again, you know, you're more than welcome to like buy it and try it. But I think this might work better for someone with maybe some a me more medium skin tone. So anyway. Um, out of, let's go out of five stars, I give this a 1.5. The next bronzer I have to talk about is also from the drugstore. It's the NYC Smooth Skin Sunny Bronzer. This is a cult favorite. Everyone and their mother has this bronzer because it's extremely affordable. I think it's like two dollars, maybe three at the drugstore. And um, it's, an, it's an all right bronzer. I used to really like it. It's not very pigmented, I find. Like, it, um, you have to really, like, continuously swatch um, to get good color. There is the swatch on my finger there, and then on my hand. You see, like, it doesn't transfer well to the skin, which, I mean, for people with fair skin, is probably a good thing because it's going to be more buildable. You can work with it a little bit more. It's not going to come off, like, um, super, super dark at first. Um, although, this one I do find comes off a little bit orangey on my skin because you're basically applying any product to my face, like, like you're applying it to a piece of paper. <laughs> like, my skin is so fair. I mean, it's like, it's like a, it's like a whiteboard, basically. So, this does come off a little bit orangey but again in the summer I think this is really great if you have self tanned or you have a little bit darker of a skin tone um, this would be a really great very affordable bronzer to have so this next one is my last one from the drugstore it's actually not specifically a bronzer this is the covergirl clean um, pressed powder this is the number 155 soft honey I think I've mentioned this in a favorites video before but it's just a really nice um, kind of light brown color it smells like Oh, I don't know, it smells like, it's very perfumey, like it smells really, really strong. But I mean, if you're good with CoverGirl scents, I mean, why not? But here is a close-up of the color for you, and then I'll show you a little swatch. So super pigmented, of course, because it is a pressed powder, and then there it is for you. It's super easy to blend. Um, I used to really love this one. I've just kind of fallen in love with a couple other bronzers that I'm using right now. But um, this one's not bad. It can look a little muddy, but because it's super blendable, you really can't tell. So again, if you're looking for a nice and kind of affordable bronzer, you can definitely always find it in your favorite powder line. Like if you love CoverGirl or Revlon, I mean, just try going up a couple shades and you can find a really good deep color that's also going to give you coverage right there instead of like taking away. 
Alright, so the rest of the bronzers I'm going to talk about are high-end. The first one, this first one is actually the first bronzer I've ever bought. It's by Too Faced. This is Snow Bunny. And this was back last year in like November or December. I wasn't even sure like what to do about bronzer. I had never used it before. I was pretty much just scared about it. Like, was really intimidated by it. So I thought, hey, Snow Bunny, you know, it's meant for, you know, fair skin, you know, or for winter time. Hopefully this will work for me. And it is a nice bronzer, but it's so shimmery. I don't think I've ever used this as a bronzer. I have used it singly, like as, like maybe I'll swirl it together, sometimes use it as a blush, or I will use it individually as shadows. But here's an up-close look. It's four separate colors. So it has like a white, a really dark brown shimmery, color, a pinky color, and then like a nice champagne, or is that, or it's like a light brown color, I don't know, but it's really nice, um, you can swirl it all together again, like I said, to get one color, but it does come off quite shimmery, or you can use it individually as shadows, so here is the swatch, it's super, super bronzy, and then there's that for you, so again, super glittery, obviously very reflective. Um, if you have a deeper skin tone, this could also like work as like a highlight for you, just because it's so shimmery. But it's not a bad bronzer. I don't regret purchasing it because again, I could get other uses out of it. So yeah. So the next bronzer I'm going to talk about is also a cult favorite. This is Benefits Hula Bronzer. Everybody and their mother loves this stuff, and it is amazing. It's a nice, very neutral brown color. It's not too orange. It's not too brown. It's perfect, and it's absolutely amazing for contouring. I don't typically use this as an overall bronzer just because, again, my skin is very fair, but for contouring, this stuff is amazing. So here is an up-close of the color, if we can focus. There we go. And then... It's like super buttery, like the powder is just incredibly buttery, so soft, like like Lorac shadows it kind of reminds me of. And then there is the color, again, like I said, super amazing for contouring for me, but not so much overall bronzing. Next, I'm going to be talking about NARS Laguna Bronzer, which I got in this little palette set. This is NARS, the Guy Bourdain, Guy Bourdain, I don't really know, the blush um, set. And it comes with four blushes, a highlighter, and then NARS Laguna. And I was crazy obsessed with this for like a month and a half. Like, I love this bronzer, and I will probably, like, I will probably purchase the full size one day. But the bronzer is just really nice. It does have some shimmer in it, but it's not noticeable enough like on the cheeks it really comes off like matte almost and you can see like it's not super glittery like it's not the glitter is not going to transfer to your skin so that's what I really love about it and it's just a really nice brown color so there is a swatch oh okay focus swatch on my finger yes yes maybe no okay there we go and then here's this one on my hand it's a really nice bronzer. It looks really good on the cheeks. I think it's a must-have for your collection, and it's going to be amazing for the summertime. All right, so the last bronzer I'm going to talk about today is my absolute holy grail, hands down favorite bronzer. Every fair skin girl should have this in their collection. This is Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil. They have the Chocolate Soleil bronzer, which is a little bit deeper, but this is milk chocolate, so it's a little bit lighter, and it works extremely well with my fair skin, and it smells like chocolate which is always a plus. So here's an up close look at the color. It's wonderful on the skin. I use it every single day and I just cannot say enough good things about it. It's super creamy and blendable and you can't really even see it on my finger, but it's awesome. It's much like the uh, Sunny Bronzer, whereas it doesn't like transfer super, super pigmentedly, but with a brush and applied to the face, it comes off really nice. Again, super blendable so so lovely on the skin and like i said every fair skin girl should have this in their collection all right so if there are any bronzer recommendations you guys have any that you think i would like or you think i should try just leave them in the comments down below because i'm always open to new bronzers anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all next time love you guys bye